Okay, Bellion back, and let's go to part two. Let's do something cool here. And um, hmm. and I'm also going to add another cube in here, just for that lintel, like the little detail here. So I'm just going to make a, let's just take this, Command-D here, R. I'm going to bring this down, and I'm going to scale it out, something like that, W, and then some kind of a detail. I'm going to call this, um, nope, I'm going to assign new material to it right here. Lambert, and I'm going to call this column C. Oh, well, okay, let's just do this. Column detail. Okay. All right, a couple things. Um, in a game setting, uh, what we want to do is maximize our assets. Okay. So I had mentioned to you guys that let's say we don't need this top, we can get rid of it, right? This top face. Okay. Uh, for here, bottom and top. You're never going to see the bottom, but for now I'm going to keep it. And ideally, like you're not going to see the back, but I'm going to keep it. And the reason why I'm keeping it is because I may want to in the future uh, make a different texture in the back of the pillar. So I can rotate my pillars and have multiple pillar details based on one texture. Okay, that's my goal. All right, so we've got this one, second one, third. We want to work on these right now. This is going to be the fun one, all right? So let's start with this guy here and what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to delete this face because I don't need that one bye bye and go under here see ya so I'm going to keep it at four faces object and I'm going to slide her back I should have zeroed all these things man I'm I'm not showing you a lot of steps guys I'm sorry I'm just going to go to object and I'm going to sometimes it's nice to zero transforms that would have been amazing. Okay, anyway, that's the bottom here. Lambert. Okay, this should be called something. Delete the history. Zero center. And then I'm going to call this. Uh, call. My apologies. Here we go. Ah, oh, boy. Come on. I want to write something here. Okay, it's not working. So I'm just going to assign new material. And I say Lambert, I'm going to say base column. Okay, so, and I'm going to do one with six sides as well, okay? So this is the top. We're going to work with this one first, okay? As always, multi shot, done. Go to UV right here, done. And here's what we got. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. That is all proportional. Oh, it's because I've done all this. That's why. Okay, delete. Or not I want to show you how I did all this I'm gonna delete it I'm gonna just duplicate this one object right now W command D and I'm gonna press R I'm gonna crank this out like that and I'm gonna just make it skinnier and taller okay let's see if this actually fits R again yeah I, I want to see it like this so I can fix it for you guys just as a review okay here we go we're gonna speed up now I think Okay, so one more time. Take the shot. There's the shot. UV editor. Did it for me again. I'm a lucky man. Okay, it's working sweetly here. Okay, so I'm going to come here to the top face. <sighs> face. Boom. Right there. W. That looks good. It's proportional. I'm liking it. I don't have to do any UV work. So let's find this front uh, face right there. Okay, so if I click on this one, slide it over here. Okay, and then um, the one underneath is probably there. So if I come over here and go to edge, let's see if we can find it. There it is, that one. Beautiful. Face. Um, yeah. Bring that here. Slide it over. There it is. Okay. So top and bottom are, are going to be sewn super fast. So. Okay. So here we go. Edge. Boom. Uh ha, huh. where's my move and sew business? What's going on here? Did I do something weird? Okay. Okay, it's cutting sews here too. Okay. So now we're gonna use somehow my it was up here before and I lost it somehow. Okay, that's kinda cool. No worries. Should be here. Uh create UV shell. Cut and sew. Okay, the other one just where is my move? Auto seams. We're not going to do that. Stitch together. 
No, I want my moving so. Okay, let me just pause for a second. Things are popping all over the place. Okay, so let's look up here. Uh, cut and sew here. This was somehow disappeared. It could be a glitch. So let's just go to move and sew. And I'll click here. G, repeat last command. These two are not in the right place. Okay, good to know. Okay, so I will go face really quickly. And we'll move this here. And again, one of the things I need to do at all times is make sure, uh, let's see, if I click on edge here, have this one and this one, and then uh, hopefully that works, right? So move and sew. And this one, let me, so this, I'm going to just do something just for fun. Okay, look how it did it for me. Notice that? It knew to rotate it, which was crazy awesome. So press G, done. Okay, so this is somewhat okay. I, I still find this, it's uh, proportionally, it's not accurate here, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go to UV shell for a second. I'm going to press R. I'm going to just cheat and do something like this. And I'm going to go to UV, and I'm going to take these bad boys here, W, bring them down proportionally. That's what I want to do. And what I was saying to you guys in class, I want this whole pillar of three parts on one texture sheet, okay? That's my goal. Okay, so if I go to UV shell right now, just slide it up here, and we'll go to the bottom one next, okay? And I'll make that all fit. Let's check the time here. Okay, we're doing good. Okay, let's go with this one. Uh, object right here and let's put the uh, snap nice uh, buddy I just need one here okay there it is look how nice that is eh? so we'll go to face this one's the front beautiful and what I'll do is I'll just go to edges and really fast and let's see what it's gonna do here these are not aligned the way I want them normally what no. <laughs> okay that was wild Okay, so let's press W for a second. Look for the edge. Where's the other guy? Oh, it's over here. Okay, so face. I'll bring this over. Let me double check again, the edge. Okay, that's cool. These guys are not. So let's see if this is gonna rotate and sew. Let's sew this one first, boys. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Okay, and then last but not least, press G. Okay, so this is done. Okay, so notice what I'm gonna do here. This is the square, right? and UV shell and now watch I'm gonna click hold shift both both are here what is going on here did I not just do this <laughs> what happened in my file look I lost all the work I've done yeah yeah no 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 it's not that it just I lost the work I did earlier so I'm just gonna press R here I'm gonna make this skinny and this is the bottom one something like that Ohm. Seriously? W. Let's move this here. Remember I did this in my previous demo? You see that? It's gone. <laughs> no problem. Let's fix this. How did I lose all this? Okay, anyway, no problem. Edge. Uh, I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, yep. G. Good. Oh, man, this might not work. It didn't work. So sometimes what happens if you don't... Um, let's just come over here. Did you, what was that? Perhaps, yeah, it's possible, right? So let's just go to edge here. So you see that's the one, right? So I'll just go face here and I'll just slide this over and I'm gonna go to the next edge. Oh yeah, these guys are definitely not together. So these are, so I'll move in so at least in a way we have a, let's see if this is gonna work. Oh yeah, that worked, see? Okay, at least if we have a couple of these faces sewed, we're good to go, right? Okay, so here it is. Uh, this is a UV shell. You're not. I'm not losing you again, buddy. R. And again, what I did earlier. I'm gonna come in here. UV. Oh, you gotta get something going, buddy. Okay, there it is. There it is, right here. So I've got that UV shell done. So I'm gonna move this up here. Okay, and then later on, I'm gonna rescale it to fit in this spot down here this 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 space okay so I'm gonna do three textures in one shot so here's this one okay so that one comes down here let's move on and then I'm gonna work on this guy here let's get out of it object mode here's this one okay so and let's do the same thing click oh that's nice so now look how it's not proportional right at all okay so what I'll do right now is I'll come over here I'm just gonna go to face there and then next thing I want to do is always check for the top edge. 
good that's the top edge right so if I go to UV now and I take these two guys or I can go to face I can go like this then R really fast and then like that and then down and so on so this is gonna be my proportion basically right here this this surface so I'll bring this down here and I'm gonna look for its edge right so you see what I'm doing here so I'm going to edge right there so there's whatever that one is I'll go to face like that bring it down here and double check again that I'm in the right edge there okay so if I go to face like that R bring it down something like that okay I'm sure there's probably some kind of a snapping tool here so I'm gonna find this uh, adjacent one right there okay so that's cool face so watch out what I could do I could bring this right on top of the other one here like that see I can use as my proportion right R and then just just kind of do your best to kind of align it and then move it to the other side see ya like that right and then we got uh, let's look for the bottom of this so let's go to edge okay so that's it right there face boom W over here R and this is a pretty big surface W uh, what am I pressing W yep so there's that I want to work like that now I want to find the top face which is this one beautiful and again double check your edges that they're aligned oh wow that's amazing okay I'll take it last time I was doing this in class none of my edges were aligned I had to always rotate 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 okay so I'll just do something like this and then slide here and then we've got one more surface okay and obviously we don't need all the back face but I'm gonna keep it just because or what I can do is I'll you know what yeah I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna go to edge spin around here and then press 4 for uh, wireframe aha finally one upside down see right there see how it's you see here it's at the bottom okay so I'll just go to face boom and then we'll go to rotate here uh, transform once twice and then press R bring it down and take it across something like that and I'll just go here okay and I'm just gonna have this as my <clears throat> okay so I have all these right and I'll just slide this over somewhere maybe there let me double check my edges yeah I'm lucky okay so we're just gonna do move and sew really fast and move on okay and then here G G G and I want this not to be aligned good okay so this is a good review so we're gonna take these UVs UVs right here and we're gonna align to the top so here's my favorite thing here get out of transform go to align and align to the top I'll take the bottom ones and I'll say align to the bottom boom like that and I'll take these guys align to the right left doesn't matter here we'll go to the right again done uh, G and G again and then right there not bad right here's the best part okay so watch UV shell done okay so we need to have all of these in here there's an automatic way for it to do for Maya to do it I'm not showing anybody that okay I just want you guys to be comfortable doing this okay so and we can control how we want it okay so the bottom of the pillar where is it there shift shift if you look out there's the three pieces all three have to fit within this space okay I'll start with this guy UV shell press R rescale it doesn't need to be that big right we're just moving it in here for now okay so something like that and then here R W and I'll move this guy here like that and move it up something like that take this one press R and down over I should have basically in terms of proportions I should have just went in here and aligned these do you see that yeah okay so well you get you get it right so 
like the line should match right so just because I didn't do it I'm gonna fix it right now I'm just gonna come on this and go to UV and take these two guys and then slide it this way cool take these two UVs and slide them over here nice take these guys here and slide that over and so on and so on one more right here and then you need to do is just to go to UV shell the whole shell is selected move it over okay like that this is plenty this is awesome we've got lots of room here and I'll take this one down okay so this is the part that most people had a tough time so this is my 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 uh, my sheet to texture on right okay so from here on in we're gonna texture on our own okay boom boom all these three are selected you see this little camera right there so we're gonna take a 2k shot here and I'm gonna save this in the desktop where I was working earlier and without crashing please and interior textures and I'm gonna call this um, I don't know my pillar underscore ballion okay See, 2048 by 2048. Don't leave it as IAF. Keep it as J JPEG or PNG. Okay, apply. Sorry, I've got to go. Ballion out. We're done here. Thank you.